now see a second law of thermodynamics so the second law of thermodynamics can be explained with the help of these two statements we have done the working of the refrigerator refrigerator actually works on the principle of the second law of thermodynamics what happen in case of the refrigerator heat is taken from the lower temperature that is from the sink or you can say the thing which is placed inside the refrigerator and that is only done with the help of the external energy that is the electrical energy and then this heat is given to the surrounding which is at higher temperature so here heat is being taken from the lower temperature and heat is transferred to the body which is at higher temperature but this is only done with the help of an external energy without external energy you cannot get this type of the device now see here there are the two statements first one is the kelvin planck's statement it is impossible to construct a heat engine which would absorb heat from a reservoir and convert 100% of the heat ab heat absorbed into work so it is impossible to convert 100% of heat absorbed into work second one this is a clausius statement it is impossible to design a design a self acting machine unaided by any external energy which would transfer heat from a body at lower temperature to a body at higher temperature so these are the two statements which are actually explaining about the new second law of thermodynamics you know the first law of thermodynamics that is based on simply the principle of conservation of energy see here carnot theorem in this uh, according to the carnot theorems first one working between two given temperatures t1 of the source and t2 of sink no engine can have efficiency more than that of carnot engine the second one efficiency of carnot engine is independent of the nature of the working substance so these are the two statements about the carnot engine can be taken as carnot theorem so now we can also explain this one the first one so carnot theorem can be explained by the two engine one is reversible and another one is here irreversible one when these two engines are coupled and by that way you can explain carnot theorem now see here we can explain carnot's first theorem by using these two coupled engine here i is an irreversible engine here which is actually acting as heat engine and r is here reversible engine reversible carnot engine which is acting as refrigerator now first one this i reversible engine irreversible engine takes heat q1 from the source and w is work done by this in that case here w dash is the work done and then q1 minus w dash heat is given to the sink now in the next case we arrange the engine r such that the q1 heat is given to the source it means q1 minus w heat is taken from here that is uh, here the w is work done on the system and the q1 heat is given to the source in this case if you have taken efficiency of r is less than efficiency of irreversible engine and r is less than ni so obviously this w will be less than w dash for the given q1 so for the given q1 w is less than w dash so q1 minus w is greater than q1 minus w dash so in this case if q1 minus w is greater than q1 minus w dash then we can write here thus heat extracted by i r system that is a i and r system in one cycle that is w minus w dash just i have taken the difference of these two that is here w minus w dash thus in one cycle w minus w dash heat is taken from sink and delivers the same amount of work in one cycle so that as we have seen in this complete explanation now this is against the second law of thermodynamics so here hence nr is less than ni it means efficiency of this engine is less than this engine it was assumed initially that one is wrong so the no engine can have efficiency more than the carnot engine so this is for the justification of the first carnot's theorem 